magic keys are back on sale. I'm so sick and I'm serving you. I just got electrocuted hair, but we're, I mean, obviously we have to talk about this, right? I couldn't let, I couldn't just like not. I'm not just gonna spout news to you because you already know that they're back on sale, but let's talk about what it means. Cause to me, that's more interesting. This is definitely somebody's last ditch effort to try and save face after the quarterly earnings because there was literally nothing, nobody had any idea this was happening. It, it, it After all the talk, after all of Chapek saying that we were unfavorable, after everything, they tried to get away with not having magic keys or annual passes at Disneyland and Disney World, honestly. They tried it. They wanted to see what they could do without us. And then the quarterly earnings came out and they, um, they got, they got their answer. They tried to see how many people would renew. If we could just limit it to renewals, how will we do? As we know from the last few months of content here and the discussions in my own comment section, um, a lot of people didn't renew because they weren't happy with how the company was being run. Now, after the quarterly earnings came out and after all of the shit talking on how unfavorable we were, I guess they realized, at least at Disneyland, how much they need us. So now you can buy a magic key if you didn't have one before, which is awesome, I'm, I'm happy for it, but it's also proof that they don't give a crap about guest experience. The parks are already so full and so crowded, and if they cared about guest experience and crowd capacity, they wouldn't sell more magic keys because they're not slowing down reservations. We all know that that's what those were really meant for. No, they're trying to get more butts in the seats or even worse, potentially, they're trying to get more people to buy passes and then they're going to limit reservations and then they'll have the money without having to provide any experience to anyone because it'll be too hard to get a reservation. Let's hope that's not the case. They have yet to open up passes at Disney World, even though there has been many new sources and confirmations from corporate saying by the end of 2022 and we're almost here. So do you think that's gonna happen? I don't, I'm, it's not looking good. You can buy a pass, but only the most basic Florida resident pass, but nothing else has been open yet. So do you think that Walt Disney World will open up passes by the end of 2022 like they said they would? Or do you think we're looking at 2023? Lord knows we weren't expecting today to happen. So who knows? But I'm curious to see what your thoughts are about all of it in the comments. Are you buying a new pass if you're a Disneyland person? Are you waiting for a Disney World pass? What, where are we at, y'all? It's interesting how they're realizing that they need us. That's a victory, I guess.